Sometimes it can be hard to kind of know where to start and what kind of gear that you're going to need for specific projects. So this is how I break it down. I usually start with a lighting diagram that I make on a specific program. The program is called Shot Designer and here's a little look at what it does. So this app is called Shot Designer. I use it for my lighting diagrams. It's not the best, but it gets the job done. Best thing about it is you can share it. So if anybody else has the app installed, you can share folders, sync it up, uh, do a bunch of stuff. I think it costs about $20 on the Play Store to activate. So this is a sample project that I did a while back ago. As you can see, I labeled uh, everything that's either in the grid, hanging off of stirrups or on the floor. That's just how I color coat uh, my lighting diagrams to make it easy on myself. Um, down in the bottom here, you can make it really easy by selecting annotation, which just helps you add captions and labels to things. Really nice about it, you can grow the text, you can make it bold and change the color, change the background colors, um, almost anything that you want to do. If you want to add lighting, the lighting isn't as large of a list as I would like, but it gets the job done and I reuse the look of certain lights for different lights. So like if I add one here, you can swivel around, you can place it wherever you want, which is really nice, easy to move around, color code. Um, and the labels is where I tell it what kind of light it is, like at 4K HMI. I can make that label large. I can also space that label away from the light if it's too cramped on the diagram. And if I move my light around, it still sticks with wherever my light is at. Same thing if I move the label close to the light and move the light around, you can see it sticks with it which is just very useful. You can add sets, which have windows or doors. You can add props, which has a variety of different props that you can use for different things. You can also insert a top-down drawing from an art director or director and place your lights around that. So once I'm done with my lighting diagram, I usually open up a Google Doc and I start listing out all the things that are in my lighting diagram as well as all my notes. Uh, one thing that I always have to make sure of is expendable. Sometimes I forget to add those into my lighting uh, lists. And I just do it off of quantity, the item, and then any notes. And notes could be anything from, um, you know, if it needs to be subrented or not, or here's a link to the image of the item that I'm trying to get. This just helps whoever's picking up the gear or trying to, the line producer who's ordering it, if they aren't sure of what it is. Once I'm done, Putting together my lighting list, I send it over to the line producer who usually sends it to a lighting company of their choosing. Sometimes they have deals at certain ones like VER, Senelise, EVS, Quixote. Those are just some of the big ones around LA. And here's a sample from Senelise of what their lighting list looks like after you submit it. Every lighting company has different ways of laying out their lighting lists. This one just does it by description and quantity. Here's one from EVS, which is just another lighting company, and this is how they lay it out. Um, they price it out and show you the actual prices, where Cinelease doesn't always do that. And they also tell you how many days of the week that you're renting it for. After they send back the quote, that gives you a chance to look over the price of everything, decide if this is the list that you want to get, or if it's too expensive, you can figure out which units are costing the most, or if you want to swap them out for different units of a lower cost. Usually we have to go back and forth with the lighting companies two or three times in order to get a finalized list. So yeah, these are some of the ways that I like to make my lighting list to guarantee that every project goes smoothly. If you use another program other than the one that I showed in the video, please let me know down below if you like it more or worse or how it compares to Shot Designer. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.